Hi campers, welcome to camp. I'm Shelby and today's activity is going to be a make your own stress ball. The supplies you're going to need are a balloon, which can be found in your backpack. And you're also gonna need a piece of paper, an empty water bottle, half a cup of flour. Now you don't need all of this, but this is what I have. And you're also going to need a spoon to scoop the flour. So the first step is you're going to take your balloon and you're going to stretch it out. So the balloons are very small when they come into the package, so you want to make sure it has enough space to fit all the flour. So you want to stretch it out and you can blow some air into it to let it stretch out and then let out the air. Or you can just pull on it a little bit to stretch out the plastic. So the next step is you're going to take your piece of paper and on an angle you're going to fold it and roll it into a funnel. So this funnel is going to go in your water bottle. I actually have to refold this. There we go. So you want to fold it enough so that it fits in your water bottle like so. This is so you can put the flour in the funnel so it goes into the water bottle without creating a mess. Now, if you want to make it a little easier and not use a piece of paper, if you have a funnel in your house, which I do in my kitchen, you can use that as well, place it in there, and it works just as well. So after you have your funnel placed in the water bottle, you're going to take your flour, and you're just gonna scoop some into the funnel which will then go into the water bottle. Now this will take a little bit of time, but once it gets in there, it will be a lot easier. Okay, now that I have all of my flour in my water bottle, about half a cup, you can do as little or as much as you want. You're going to take your balloon and stretch out the opening and stretch it over the, in, the top of the entire water bottle. So it should look kind of like this. Now, after you have your balloon on the water bottle, you are going to simply just tip it over and give it a squeeze. And you'll see the balloon inflate because the water bottle gives the balloon air and enough air to let all that flour go into the water bottle. So if you do have too much flour in your water bottle, it won't fill all the way. So that's why it's important to stretch your balloon out if you want a lot of a big stress ball. So this is also a stress ball in itself too. It's really fun to squeeze, so you can have some fun while you're filling up your stress ball. All right, so it looks like that's as big as mine's gonna go. So after you have it full, if you still have some extra flour, simply just pinch the top, flip it over, and then you're going to take the balloon while still pinching it off of the water bottle. All right, so now we're done with our water bottle. What you're going to do now is squish all that flour. Some of it gets stuck in your neck, so you're just gonna squish it all down and then tie your balloon. Now, if you can tie it yourself, you can do that, or if you need a parent to help you, I'm sure they'll help you out. So you're gonna tie your balloon and then your stress ball is done. Now you can decorate it with markers or sharpies if you want to give it maybe a little face or anything you want, but it's just a simple little thing that's fun for relaxing and letting all your stress out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy your stress balls. I'll see you guys later.